Hi everybody, this is Tracy Bookman, owner of Homestead Roofing, and we are still counting down the top 10 roofing mistakes that homeowners make and how you can avoid them. And today, we're talking about mistake number six, signing something before the roofer even gets on your roof. Now, everybody knows that to get a contractor to do work at your home, there should be a contract in place which both parties need to sign. But a common tactic that some roofers use is to ask the homeowner to sign something before the roofer even gets up on the roof. For example, let's say there's uh, a bunch of roofing canvassers walking through a neighborhood after a hailstorm. They're knocking on doors and they're asking people, hey, would you like me to get up and inspect your roof? And the homeowner says, mm, Okay, and at that time, the person that is assigned to do the inspection asks the homeowner to sign a form. Oftentimes, they don't explain what the form is for. They just ask the homeowner to sign it. Well, then the homeowner thinks, well, this must be some sort of authorization form or some sort of consent form, or maybe it's a waiver of liability form uh, that they need me to sign for him to just get up on the roof. But that's not what the homeowner is signing. In most cases, when that happens, the document that the homeowner is signing is basically a contract that states that if there's damage on the roof and if the homeowner files an insurance claim, that the homeowner has to use that roofing contractor to complete the work. Then if the homeowner later decides that he wants to use a different roofer to actually complete the work, then the roofing company uh, hauls out their big guns and starts threatening the homeowner with lawsuits and uh, fees and all kinds of stuff that just is designed really to do nothing more than just intimidate the homeowner. So what should you do? Well, it seems pretty obvious, but don't ever sign anything before the roofer gets up on your roof. And when you think about it, don't sign anything when he gets down off of the roof either. You wanna have time to be able to process what it is that he's telling you that needs to be done. You wanna see a report from him, uh, especially if the report contains photos or if his findings include any kind of video, anything like that. You wanna know exactly what's going on because remember, this is your insurance record that's at stake here, not his. And if you file a claim and there's no damage or there's not enough damage, then that goes on your record, possibly as a claim without pay, which could end up leaving your insurance company with the perception that you are a greater risk to insure because you're calling in false claims. So if you've got any questions about this topic or anything else, please give us a call right up here at our phone number, 719-433-6991. You can also visit our website, and that's right down here at homesteadroofingcolorado.com. We've got a ton of information out there, lots of other videos filled with tips and education for you as a homeowner. If you like this video, we'd love it if you'd give us a big thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. We'd love to know what you thought of this video, but if you've got any scary roofer stories, we'd love to hear about those too. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon up there at the top so that way you get notified when we've got new videos. Until the next video in our series, I'm Tracy Bookman, owner of Homestead Roofing.